So that should be on live now, right? Perfect. Yep, I can hear myself. Yep. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you. The warmest of welcomes on the coldest of nights in East London as we are at the Rush Green Stadium for the latest West Ham under-21s test where Nottingham Forest are the latest opponents in the Premier League 2. As always, the Young Hammers will be coming into this confident unbeaten since the opening day of the season and sat second in the table. But tonight's opponent, after Leon, the opponents took the lead in the 88th minute, will hope for some uh, goals earlier on in this encounter. As I say, West Ham coming into this very confident indeed. It's seven unbeaten in the Premier League, two, 13 unbeaten in all competitions. Of course, that includes the EFL trophy, which the. Un It's Canate now looking to lead a breakaway for Forrest. And it's the fullback Hammond who makes the move around the outside. Low ball in. And that's the first thing that Knightsbridge has had to do all evening long. 
and he was up to the task. Here is Casey. It's Lang now. Well, he couldn't find Chester's. Forrest will have this throw. on towards Hammond. Both he's going to need the press at the moment for West Ham, but Orford's going to get there first for West Ham and give them the lead. In fact, it was Patrick Kelly, but I'm sure West Ham won't mind because after all of the possession, all of the chances, they now have the lead at the Rush Green Stadium. It's Kelly's first goal in the Premier League two this season. And really, it couldn't have been any easier for the West Ham number eight. And we're just under half an hour gone. It is West Ham who take the lead. The West Ham press won't stop there. Marshall leading it this time round. Look who's there again for West Ham. Kelly as he finds Kadoa this time. Marshall trying to keep things alive as it deflects into the back of the forest net for a quick fire double. Callum Marshall had 13 goals in the Premier League two already this season coming into this. Maybe he'll try and claim that one. As the ball looped over the forest, number one to make it West Ham 2, Nottingham Forest nil. But once again, that West Ham press working wonders. And once again, it was Kelly there for the Hammers. Maybe it did come last off of Callum Marshall, might have been kicked onto the West Ham number nine. Maybe after all, he might be able to claim it as his own. Well, here come Forrest looking for instant reply. Powell. Forrest send it out wide again. You see how pressing high, but a little too aggressively for the referee's liking. And, uh, the referee wasn't happy with Luziao kicking the ball away, so he's going to be shown yellow. Really, a rare chance for Forrest to have some possession in the West Ham half. Doesn't last, as here is Earthy. Keep going, Cal, keep going, Cal. 
Brooke now. Arte dropping deep this time for Nottingham Forest. It's always a good sign from uh, a West Ham point of view that their number nine does have to drop so deep to get involved. He's been kept quiet by that West Ham back three so far this evening. Is Lang. Kelly now heavily involved in involved in uh, both the West Ham goals. But it's Forrest at the moment looking for a goal themselves. Chester's does well for West Ham. And now Kodoa will look to start this Hammers breakaway in Hunt for a third. As here is George Earthy now. Gets it onto his stronger right foot and a drill towards that near post again, well held by Brook. Oh, Brook almost causing Forest problems again after making the save just a moment ago. Is Casey. Scars will get there on this near side. Now we'll be able to drift inside. Marshall couldn't quite get his touch right. This is Canate now for Forrest. They look to hit the hammers down the other end. Perkins. Arte once more. And a uh, shot from a long way out. And it ends up a long way out from the West Ham goal as well. Aguilera with the effort. The effort which sailed a long way wide and over the crossbar. Drills it forward towards Marshall. Tight, tight. Scars currently with the defending for uh, West Ham. As soon as Forrest played that ball back, West Ham was so quick to start that press again. Perkins, how about that for a challenge? And now Chester's looks to drive on forward. McDonald there for uh, Nottingham Forest. Canate. Doha. Sending it all the way back now to Brook. Hammond. Perry's done well for Nottingham Forest, and this is Canate. Powell now on the uh, far side. Canate again. Thinking about getting his shot away. Still twisting and turning. And then running into Lewis Orford. Skulls will try and seek out Earthy. Here is the West Ham number 10. Options arriving. Zerfi sends the low ball in. Give me 
Powell. Well read by Luziao. Kelly finds Kadoa. Kadoa has done really well to uh, just about get in front of his man and win the West Ham free kick. McDonald will be in the uh, referee's book too. Casey. Here is Chester's. Nice bridge. That was done really well there for West Ham. Orford. Nice bridge finds Kadoa. Fantastic turn from the West Ham number seven. Getting away from two Forest players. Couldn't quite seek out Callum Marshall though. <laughs> Kelly. Lewis Orford's gonna send it early towards Dan Chester's. Perkins able just to pick it down the line for Nottingham Forest. over five minutes of the first half to play. West Ham in control. How about that from Callum Marshall? Here's George Earthy. Or send it down the line and Casey is there to pick up the pieces for West Ham. Is Chester's finding Kelly. He then spots Skulls. He was wayward with his cross into the uh, penalty area. Usually such a, a pinpoint crosser, the West Ham number 11. The uh, most confident of clearances there from the Forest number five, Zach Abbott. Here's Casey. Easy out now for West Ham. Marshall. This is George Earthy. Yeah, now on this near side. Uh, Marshall won't be able to get there for West Ham. Yeah. 
straight away pressing Nottingham Forest as soon as that ball was back in play, forcing the visitors long. They're always confident in terms of uh, getting the possession back in that kind of circumstances with the height of Liziao, Casey and Liang at the back. Scars does well for West Ham and this is Kelly. Earthy. This is Dan Chester's now for West Ham. We're not far away from finding out how much stoppage time there will be at the end of the first 45. It'll be a fair few minutes. I've had a couple of uh, injuries, particularly early on. Marshall, nice layoff to Earthy. Back with the West Ham number 10. Kelly now. You open the scoring for West Ham, looks to try and drive on for uh, number three. Yeah, does really well for West Ham. Canate. First time, really, we've seen Forrest being able to play their way out of trouble. Flicks it round the corner. Perkins now for Forrest. Canate. Ball start wide, the uh, Forrest number nine. They will be able to keep things in play and send it towards Hammond at the back post. Danger still not cleared. Back in it goes again. Yang was there that time for West Ham. Is Canate. Kelly does well to get it as far away as he did. Perkins. Been a good uh, spell this late on in the first half for Nottingham Forest. But as I say that, they've given it away, not in the position they would want to do so. As Earthy does well to drill it towards Kadoa. Well, right there by Zach Abbott, who clears. Even as it looked like Forrest were uh, ending the half, the stronger side, West Ham were the ones to create the opportunity. And never make it easy for Nottingham Forest to pass their way out from the back. Yang finding Orford. Here is George Earthy. And with the West Ham number 10. Marshall with a nice turn round the corner as he goes on and on the number nine. Skulls. Round the corner towards Canate. A little too much pressure for the referee's liking from uh, Patrick Kelly. Oh, 
29. That is the last of the action in the first 45. West Ham were creating all the chances in that first half, but it was Nottingham Forest who gifted them the opener. Kelly putting on the pressure and finding the finish to give West Ham the lead. And it was a quick fire double to as Callum Marshall was in on the act, as he always is, to make the half-time score. West Ham 2, Nottingham Forest 0.
Welcome back to the Rush Screen Stadium as we are now underway for second half action. West Ham are comfortable in that first 45, that's for sure. They we're able to uh, get the goals as well. Have a firm lead going into this second 45. Didn't look as if there were any changes from either side at half time. But really, no changes needed from West Ham in terms of personnel, in terms of performance, because uh, it was pretty brilliant throughout the first 45. Thoroughly deserving the uh, two goal advantage going into this second half. And it's that high pressure that's working again as here is Marshall. Kadoa looks to burst around the outside. It's Lewis Orford who's in. Forces the save out of Brooks. But it is more of the same from West Ham at the start of this second 45. Orford coming close for the Hammers. Send it long towards Hammond. Easy hours battling away. over towards this near side and well kept kept in play as well Perkins runs into trouble on number seven against another nice bridge It was Marshall pressing and Marshall winning the West Ham throw. That'll be the same for Nottingham Forest on that far side. Nate. Just as we'll be able to get there first for West Ham. They'll get there again on this near side. Perkins, well read by Liang. Orford under pressure. And we'll uh, clear it long down the line. Here's George Earthy. Lee Ziao now for his time. Marshall, he flicks it around the outside for Oli Skarls. And Skarls is going to burst on here for the Hammers. Can he be in for number three? It was important defending in there. Right at the last from Hanks. But West Ham will have this corner. Yeah, Hanks will need some treatment. And I wonder if it's uh, just from a challenge that was on him a moment before. It was right in front of us on the uh, halfway line. Just uh, some studs on the uh, top of his foot. 
in the freezing cold temperatures, you can understand the pain he might be in. And I'd imagine after clearing the ball there, felt that pain again. Like he'll be okay to continue in a moment's time. Passing stand, Nottingham Forest will be falling for their first defeat in two months. And it will be West Ham continuing the unbeaten streak. Of course, a long way to go. If anything, it's West Ham pushing on for a third. goes this West Ham corner towards the back post. Kelly looking to keep things alive. Marshall sends it over to the far side. And here he is again, Callum Marshall. That's uh, quite unlike him. His Chesters. Kelly now. across by Lizzie Alpha, Eva Liang. Lizzie Al wants it again on this near side. It's George Earthy. Number three now has it. Oh, fantastic work from West Ham. Here is Lise Al signing it in behind towards Callum Marshall. So close from getting there, the West Ham number nine. Heavy touch will allow this West Ham press again. And Force Forest to clear long. They see there for West Ham. We're looking comfortable with this two goal lead. As I say, that Knightsbridge gives it away. Forest are looking to half the uh, deficit as here is Canate who gets his shot away. And Knightsbridge there to make amends. Still not cleared. Perkins with the latest effort as he fires it onto the post. The closest that Forrest have come all evening long. Two chances in quick succession. This was the latest of the bunch. Drilled forward by Perkins, but drilled onto the outside of the woodwork. might just encourage Nottingham Forest a little. They are pressing up high now on West Ham, who initially did well to break out. It's Canate out wide. Looking to drift in, filled the uh, Forest number nine. Hammered away by Luiz Yao. by Kadoa. Goals there first for the Hammers. Kelly has it taken off of him. McDonnell now. Canate driving forward. He's got an option round the outside. Forrest could be in here. Perry lays it off. The strike takes a deflection. 
and Knightsbridge with an important and a fantastic save. As Marshall then does well for West Ham. Another chance there for the visitors. Looking to get the game back on again. It was Perkins there again. Here is Callum Marshall. How about that for a ball early on towards George Earthy now. Good to find Skulls around the outside. He was just a little too far behind. Let's go out for the West Ham throw. Skulls delivers the ball towards Kadoa. Hanks was there first and Hammers it away. Knightsbridge sends it towards this near side. Fantastic click from Dan Chesters. Not a bad turn, too, from Kadoa. Right to play it on down the line towards Callum Marshall. is Oli Skulls finding Kelly Yang seeks out Kadoa but Hanks was there first This time it looks like the Forest number 10 has gone down. Quite pinpoint any challenge on him that might have caused him to uh, be on the ground. He looks just sit himself down. Let's have a look at what's made the scoring as it is. The easiest of finishes for Kelly, but he created the chance himself with that high press for West Ham for the opener just before the half an hour mark. And only a couple of minutes later, it was that press working again for West Ham. Kelly involved again. But not the usual finish Callum Marshall would be expecting. He'll be happy to claim his 14th Premier League two goal of the season. Boris will get us back underway with the throw. Luziao takes it down for West Ham. Oh, 
And we'll recycle now with Jacob Knightsbridge. Padoa providing the short option. Kelly. Is Lewis Orford. Is he out now? Really nice from West Ham again as this is George Earthy. Is he out? Lacey sliding it across now for Patrick Kelly. That's fine, Kadoa now, he's going to drive on forward for West Ham. Could have quite slip it through towards Dan Chester's. Yang's going to get there first for the Hammers. Fantastic run this round the outside as Forrest looking to uh, find a way back into the game. Canate has a go. Sam Duke managed to pinch it back with Kelly. It will be a Forrest throw. Well, called for there by Knightsbridge. and sends it long. It's going to be a forest free kick despite the uh, complaints from the West Ham players. Just too high for Canate in case he will pick up the pieces for West Ham. Manchester's heavy touch on this uh, near side. Forest were quick to get on with things. Perry. Had fortunate to get a second go at things. Perkins now. He has done well to come across there for West Ham and win his side the throw. Marshall sending it early towards Earthy. Chester has a lot of room on this near side. Earthy will keep on going alone for now. Kelly. Finding Casey. This is Liang. Well, one back by Lewis Orford there for West Ham. Can think of a uh, breakaway now. Kadoa on this near side. And a good challenge there. Uh, from Hanks, and it's that same kind of problem for the number three. In the freezing cold temperatures, he will be okay though. Yeah. 
Pinate. Thompson sending it forward. Back it goes again. Perkins now picking it up for Nottingham Forest. Perry. A lot of pressure on the number eight as he fires it down the line. Orford. Kelly now. Just runs into trouble, runs into McDonald. Fantastic challenge from Luis out. Happy to take a chance despite being on a yellow card. Orford. Oh, it does well there to track back for West Ham. Basically trying to find Marshall. Both sides are preparing changes. That's going to be a Nottingham Forest free kick. So here come those changes. The first of the evening for either side. But Perkins will be... At Powell, I should say, will be making way for Nottingham Forest first. From number 11, Ollie Skulls comes off. There's Sean Moore preparing to uh, come on. Looks like it's the end of the night for Kadoa as well. Looks like that's the board for uh, Nottingham Forest. <laughs> Meaning it wasn't Powell to make way. Adam comes on for Forest. Just under 25 minutes to go then at the Rush Green Stadium. West Ham in control in terms of the scoreline and in terms of how the play has gone. Let's see how the uh, changes for either side impact things. They were both involved there on that far side. West Ham winning the free kick. from the free kick it's going to break for Perkins seeking out Canate Liang there first for West Ham John Moore not the first touch he would have wanted it's Perkins now for Nottingham Forest but Moore's done really well so he thought to win it back for West Ham but uh, the referee deems it a foul Forest quick to get on with things as well here they have it on the far side West Ham back for now. The Liang will be able to see that out for the Hammers. A quarter of the game left to go. Might have heard that from the referee. Knightsbridge getting his last warning before a uh, yellow card. Sean Moore's going to press on now for West Ham. Like it goes towards the Forest goalkeeper, Will Brook. 
And long it goes from Will Brook. And his first is Yao. Given away. Yang was there to slow things down. Benate won't be able to get there for Nottingham Forest. Spots a shove. Brooks now. Hammond just about keeping it there for Forrest. Canate. Drills it over towards that far side. Of the uh, touch that the Forest substitute would have wanted. Uziel recycles back towards Jacob Knightsbridge. Is more. Casey gets there first. This is Lewis Orford now for West Ham. It's a handball. He's not going to get it from the referee. Brooks sends it long. Casey coming across there for West Ham. Yes, Bangs, early Bangs. West Ham throw on by Clayton and to be taken by Regan Clayton too. That's not well cleared and this is George Earthy now for West Ham. Clayton keeps things alive. Fantastic switch out towards Dan Chester's. Alford. Try to return it back towards Dan Chester again, but how well has he done to win it back again for West Ham? Earthy. Luis Yao. He tried to burst on forward and Marshall couldn't take it in his stride. Easy are getting there first. The towering header for West Ham. Looks 
Lions looking for Canate. Canate is going to get there first now for Forrest. He's got an option on the far side. But really good work, really, from both of Liang and Luiz Yao. Is Marshall. Icebridge going long for West Ham United. Leighton. And the throw does go the way of Nottingham Forest. Same again now on that far side. Just over 15 minutes to go at the Rush Green Stadium. Still the uh, two-goal advantage for West Ham United, but they are going to look to change that here. It's more. And Chester's just behind. Kelly moving it on towards Casey. with Casey once more. Easy out. Kelly, that's a nice pick out. And here is Sean Moore now for West Ham. Looking for number three, Marshall. He's going to have a go. And what an effort it was from the West Ham number nine. No surprises that he found the back of the Nottingham Forest net. Right foot or left on that occasion. It doesn't matter. It's the same outcome. And it's West Ham three, Forest nil as Marshall gets his 15th league goal of the season. And probably one of his best too. On the turn, on his left foot, but finding that far corner in style. Sean Moore was just about able to keep things alive. And there's always danger when Callum Marshall is around. West Ham pick it up again. They got a quick fire double just after they open the scoring after half an hour. Might look for another quick fire double here to make it four. Here is Orford. West Ham's number four. Marshall lays it off. Chester's free again on this near side. Chester is going to deliver high. Forrest do get it clear. Brooks now sends it long. Easy out. As always, getting there first. McDonald lays it off now. And Luizzi out there for West Ham. This is Casey. Chester's. Really slick from the Hammers once more. Here is Shaw Moore. George Earthy just turned into trouble. Here come Forrest. That's a nice ball towards Canate. Just a tad out wide. He's managing to twist and turn inside the penalty area. That's a nice dart round the outside. Can Forrest get their shot away? No. And now West Ham look to attack themselves. 
This is Dan Chester's game opening up a tad. Sean Moore out wide. He set up the West Ham third. He's going to go on his, himself for a potential fourth, but was far away from finding it. He knew what was coming as soon as he got it onto his left foot. Not quite the accuracy he would have hoped for. And out on the near side. So here comes another West Ham change. And it's the captain, Casey, who makes way. Sean Tarima going to be coming on to replace the uh, West Ham captain for this evening. With just over 10 minutes to go at the Rush Green Stadium. West Ham firmly in control now. The three goal advantage. Forrest making a change themselves too. The Perkins makes way and it looks like Julian Larson's coming on for the visitors. And number 14. First time with the throw. The latest of the changes straight into the action. Is the ank. Landed on looking for Sean Moore. Orford there for the Hammers. Kelly. Under a lot of pressure, the West Ham number eight, and it showed as Forrest looking to break away now. This is Canate in behind. Diving down was Knightsbridge. Comfortable save for the West Ham shot stopper. Go down the line by the West Ham substitute. Good pressure from the other Sean and Sean Moore. Comes another West Ham change now. Looks like it will be the end of the evening for George Earthy. And Spoon me. Forrest are also preparing another change next time the uh, ball goes out of play. What a mix up in these uh, last 10 minutes now. Now we're going to have to wait after a little bit of confusion. For the ball to uh, go out again. And gets it clear for West Ham. It will be a hammer's throw. And here comes that Nottingham Forest change now that we were expecting. It's going to be the end of the evening for Canate. It's been so isolated, really, out there for Nottingham Forest. Kept quiet by the West Ham back three. Norkett twos. Coming on to replace the Forest number nine. Clayton sends it back for Louise Yao. Here's Marshall dropping deep. Marshall was fouled. Yank. 
Oh, he's done really well there for West Ham. Chester's is bursting down this near side. Here is the Hammers number two. Kelly. Kelly once more. This is Lewis Orford now. The referee does award for us the free kick. That was a, a true striker's challenge from uh, Callum Marshall initially. And somewhere within the bundle was the uh, foul. Time just lose the possession. Here come Forrest. Sending it early in behind, and this could be a chance for the visitors. And it's one back. A fantastic finish from the substitute as Larson drills it into the corner. And all of a sudden, it might just be game on at the Rush Green Stadium. Might just mean West Ham will have to really switch back on again. But it was a fantastic finish. Knightsbridge has done nothing wrong all night. And there was nothing he could have done about that. With just over five minutes to go. It's now West Ham three, Forest one. And the Hammers will just have to compose themselves again. back on it again and all of a sudden a little spring in their step there's Chester's though for West Ham Kelly Peyton then sends it on down the line He just wants Clayton to get on with things. At the moment, it does look like the three goals for West Ham will be enough for the three points for the Hammers. They're looking to uh, close the gap between themselves and Spurs at the top of the table. They're looking to extend the lead here as it's Dan Chester's on this near side. Of course, at this stage of the season, it doesn't really matter too much where you are in the table as long as you're in that top 16 of this new Premier League 2 setup. There is a, uh, almost like a knockout stage of the Premier League 2 later on in the season. Top 16 that qualify. Nottingham Forest are 12th coming into the evening. Just about in that top 16 in terms of points. So only two clear. Here comes Dan Chester's now for West Ham. It's a low ball in. It's a good chance this for Marshall. And there's Clayton. And drilled just too close to Wilbrook. He makes a save. But you wondered there when Callum Marshall picked it up on the edge of the penalty area if he would have had a go. Being on a hat trick, the West Ham number nine. He's not shy of scoring. He's not shy of scoring hat tricks either this season. Six 
It's going to be six minutes added on at the end of the 90. Is Orford finding the cross towards Luisiao. You can see since those six minutes were added on, Forrest really pressing hard at West Ham. It's going to be a difficult ask to get two goals. Brook coming far out his penalty area to send it long. As uh, Sean Moore was in an offside position. Hammond plays it across. John Moore pressing for West Ham. He's done well. <laughs> Kelly was then brought down. Clayton. Or send it long. Knightsbridge has to get there first and does in goal for West Ham. He'll be disappointed that he hasn't got a clean sheet this evening. But he will know there was nothing he could have done about the uh, Forest goal. Looks like it's only going to be a consolation. Here's Liang. Or is still not quite giving up yet. Pressing high at West Ham as Knightsbridge sends it long. Luciano's going to get there first for West Ham. Two players on him as he gives it away. Young doing well to come across there for the Hammers, but it will be a corner for Nottingham Forest. Good chances for the visitors. An important bit of defending for West Ham to come. Make sure that Forrest don't get another. Get a second chance to deliver. Again, same outcome as West Ham get it clear. And this is Marshall now looking to lead a breakaway. As an option further out wide. When we just ran into trouble though. Donald sending it back. This is Hammond. Oh, with the forest number two Larson now we got that forest goal about five minutes to go five minutes ago I should say but now he uh, brings down the West Ham man Dreamer on the ground Knightsbridge sends it long for West Ham. A couple of minutes of stoppage time left to go. Dan Chester's battling away. Looked up by Kelly. Played over towards this near side. 
Morris have to play it long quickly. It's Hammond now for Forrest. Larson. Ball now. That might have been just a little bit of shirt pulling there from Sean Moore. One more minute left for West Ham to hold on. Feeling confident in doing so with the two goal lead. Forrest still coming forward though late on here at the Rush Green Stadium. It's scooped over the top and drilled across. An important palm away from Knightsbridge. Still they keep things alive and diving down there again was the West Ham number one. In what is the last of the action at the Rush Green Stadium. It's been a fantastic performance from the Hammers. Their press working wonders, particularly for the first goal, which was scored by their number eight, Patrick Kelly. The lead was extended by Callum Marshall, not once but twice also in the second half, as he drilled it in for a third. Forrest did get on the score sheet, though. Their substitute, Julian Larson, with a fantastic strike, beating Jacob Knightsrich. But the final score is West Ham 3, Forrest 1. Let's have a look at those goals then. This was the first. This was the pressure from Patrick Kelly. And he made the finish very easy for himself. There was Forrest causing their own problems. Give West Ham the lead. Then it was that pressure working again. Two goals in the space of two minutes. Marshall was leading that press. Kelly winning it back. The scorer almost turning provider. Perhaps, unlike most of his goals, a touch of fortune maybe from Marshall that time round. He won't mind. It just deflected off the West Ham number nine. But if there was fortune in his first goal, it was anything but that in the second. Sean Moore was just about able to keep things alive and find the number nine. And how about this for a strike from the edge of the area pinpoint into that far corner Callum Marshall we know he can score but now we know he can score with his left or his right foot fantastic effort Unfortunately, though, for West Ham, there was no clean sheet this evening. Despite the three points, we saw one fantastic finish down one end from Callum Marshall. But how about this from Larson for Nottingham Forest to get them back into things? It wasn't enough for the visitors. Larson with his first Premier League two goal of the season in style, but not enough for Forrest as West Ham comfortable winners at the Rush Green Stadium. Final score, West Ham three, Nottingham Forest one. 